Howdy. Howdy. I was, uh, just riding by. Well, this place ain't hardly built on a highway. I can't say that it is, but I can't say I know where it is. You a stranger? Lost? I guess you could say that. I'm, uh, out of tobacco. Could you sell me a mite? Ain't got none to sell. I can let you have a little to tide you over till you get to town. Well, that's real neighborly. I appreciate it. You might as well see what the old fool's got inside. Don't hold out anything on me. Morning, Whitey, and I'll start looking for signs. You tired? Mm -hmm. I admit I am. Oh, I know I was warned. Which is Papoose Peak? That one over there. Huh. Rather ghostly, isn't it? I think I'll give Whitey a hand. Toss me one of those cones, will you? Ever shot an elephant, Adam? No. Or a lion? A oh, African lion. Or a crocodile? No, there, uh, there aren't too many in this neck of the woods. But you have faced a grizzly or a cougar. I'm sure I have. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Wondering? About what? How you'd be against an elephant. How did Marion do? Very well. He always does very well. Got his spray, Captain. Like old Adam's got his scooter yet? Told Matt Kavanaugh's grandson. What's wrong with him, Paul? I don't know. Looks worn out. Oh, let's get some water. You all right, boy? Can you hear me? Grandpa's dead. Engines. Oh, there ain't no Indians on the warpath around here. Not regular ones. You mean Belcher and his renegades? Yeah. Adam saw Belcher picking up supplies in Virginia City the day before yesterday. Paul, oh, if he if he went up by Cavanaugh's, that means he swung up north. There's a half a dozen isolated settlers up there, Paul. Adam and Dunsford and his wife, too. You don't think you'd try to tackle him, do you? If he's in a killing mood, there's no telling what that renegade might try. Oh, it's you and little Joe. You better ride up there in a hurry, see how everything is, just to make sure. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'll take care of the boy. Okay. 